So after the women's singles, we turn our attention to men's doubles, and it's a repeat of last year's final. The defending champions, uh, Gideon and Sukamolio, in their seventh Super Series tournament final this year, are up against the two-time former champions, Bo and Morganson, in their fifth final here at the China Open. Now, after this week here in China, Bo and Morganson uh, will uh, go to number two on the Super Series standings, uh, so that in a way is uh, perhaps irrelevant, so it means that uh, the Indonesians and the Danes uh, will get seeded positions at the Super Series uh, finals as we look at our draw for the men's doubles from quarter-final stage. Uh, five different nations involved, two Chinese, two Indonesian and two Danish pairs at the quarter-final. The two Indonesian pairs made it through to the semi-final and it's the fourth time this year that we've had two Indonesian pairs in semi-finals of men's doubles but it is the only final today with the number one and two seeds let me tell you a bit more about the super series standings uh, because uh, boa morganson as i say will go to number two which means that they should be seeded number two at the super series finals the opposite uh, group to gideon and sukamolio the top six on the Super Series standings that we saw a moment ago have all qualified. So there is still room for the last couple of spots at the Super Series finals to be decided. So here come the defending champions, Gideon and Sukamolio. Well, of their previous six Super Series tournament finals, they've won four of them. The All England Championships, India, Malaysia and Japan. One of the finals they lost in Korea was to their opponents of today. Here come the former world number ones, Matthias Bohl and Karsten Morgensen. Two-time former champions won the title back-to-back -back years, 2011 and 2012. Also reached the final in 2008 and of course last year, because this is a repeat of last year's final. Well, this pair already hold a record as the only pair in world badminton to have won three different Super Series tournaments on three separate occasions. The Super Series finals, the French Open and the Korean Open. There are, of course, individual men's doubles players who have won uh, more tournaments at least three times or more. Of course, Lee Yong Day has won three or more titles at six different tournaments, Super Series tournaments, but the only pair. Can they add the China Open to their list of winning three times? Well, we're about to find out. This will be the seventh meeting between these two pairs and of the previous six it's the Danes who hold the advantage having won four of them but the last time they played was in the semi-final of the Japan Open and it was Gideon and Sukamolio who won on that occasion and of course they went on to win the title so Matthias Boll the left-hander is 37 years of age they are currently number two in the world ranking but they have spent a total of 68 weeks as world number ones across five different spells. Carsten Morgensen, well, he was in scintillating form yesterday. And for this Danish combination, today is a milestone because it is their 30th Super Series tournament final. Of the previous 29, they've won 16. And it is a sixth 
I beg your pardon, it's a fifth final this year. Well, as you can see, only one seed, and that was fellow Danes in the quarter-final. And what a match that was. An hour and 21 minutes. So to Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, playing his 11th Super Series tournament final today because he won in Paris in 2013 with Marcus Kido. It's his 10th Super Series tournament final hey, with hey. his partner of today, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. And they are current world number ones, enjoying their 20th week in total, their third separate spell as world number ones. And with four Super Series titles already, they've already had an incredible year. And in the second round here, they beat the winners from the French Super Series, Lee and Lee. Actually saved three game points in that first game. Quarter final against last year's All England champions, the number eight seeds, and a semi final against the number four seeds, the former world number ones, Li Jun Kuei and Liu Yu Chen. So, trying to retain the title they won last year. And the title they won last year was their first ever Premier Super Series title for Gideon and Sukumolio. Since then, they've won another two, the All England and the Malaysian. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Man his boy, Custom Morganson, Tema. And on my left, Marcos Fernandi Gideon and Kevin Sosaya Sukamoju, Indonesia. Man his boy served to Marcos Fernandi Gideon. Lalo play. So, the two-time former champions get this final underway against the defending champions. One love. It's the fourth meeting between these two pairs this year. We saw that it's the seventh meeting overall, but the fourth this year, and it's the third time they've met in a final. Not only here last year, but that also, as I was One. telling you, the Korean oh. earlier this year. It's actually only the second time this year that we've had the number one and two wow. seeds competing in the men's doubles final at a Super Series tournament. The only previous time was that Korean Open final in September. Oh my goodness, now that's gone wrong. He's not holding anything back. No. <laughs> Nice yeah, from Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio. He really is one of the most exciting players in world badminton in the men's doubles discipline. And he was in splendid form yesterday yeah. against Lee and Liu. Well, there's been a bit of a tradition here at the China Open with men's doubles pairs retaining titles. And because the last pair to do so was Lee Yong Dae and Yu Young Sung, one in 2013 and 2014. Prior to that, of course, it was the Danes who won 
in 2011 and 2012. And prior to that, it was in fact Lee Yong Day playing with Jung Jae Sung, who won three consecutive titles. It's unusual, isn't it, at Super Series events to have that sort of runs from dominance year to year from pairs. Yeah, especially because I didn't think actually that Lee Young Day and Yung Song um, played together for so long time, but long time enough to win three championships. Mm, clearly, yeah. Challenger unsuccessful. One very early in the match to be Five, using a challenge. Play. Thomas Stangor nearest to us and Jakob Hoy. Danish coaches. Six previous meetings between these two pairs. Four times it's gone to three games, and every time it's gone to three games, it's been won by the Danes. It has. And uh, oh, crikey. Found the blue carpet. Five. Interesting also that of the matches that Kevin and um, Kevin Sukumulu and Marcus Gideon has played that has gone longer than 52 minutes. They've only won one this year and lost the other five. The only one they won was in All England where they beat Mas Conrad and Mas Colling in 69 minutes. Wow. So wh what do you read from that? That they perhaps don't have the stamina, they have huge explosive power. Exactly, but as, as the game progresses, you could argue that you're gonna have difficulties keeping up the same explosiveness or it could also be that if you at all are capable of taking it to a decisive game and keeping the rallies long then you're you're playing well against yeah. the <laughs> nations Defense. Oh my goodness me. Oh, what a rally. Yeah. yeah. What was the umpire saying there? He said, yeah, he said 9 6. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, goodness. Yeah, indecision. It's a good little spell for Point. the Indonesians, isn't it? Oh, oh you fantastic shot. Yeah. Missed the last one, but the first one he just yeah. sensed that it might come there. Look at this. Shocking self. That is over and all. Used to be very, very consistent with his low serve, and it's been a little less consistent in recent months. Is yeah. that a fair comment? Yeah. the day, so you have the advantage at the mid-game interval. Just one point in it, though. What a good start to this men's doubles final. Ariono Maranat. Well, Steve, it's a, regardless of what happens in the finals today, it's a good tournament for the Danes contesting three finals. Yeah, it's a fantastic tournament. In the Danish media. Full of uh, praises for the three finals. That's yeah. They have so far. Yeah. There's one tournament where the Danes Never actually contested four finals. That was the home event of 2009. But it's possible they could win three titles today, which would only be the third time in Super Series history that they've won three titles at one particular Super Series tournament. 2009 career. And the home event the Denmark Open of 2010. So that it's been a long time. Yeah. Obviously hasn't happened yet, but it's possible. Yeah, it's a bit deep in his defensive stance. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's a bit of trickery. Yeah. Good start for the Danes here as well because they haven't been run over and there's been so many pairs that have been run over by the Indonesians in mm. the beginning of the first game. Yeah, 
was mishit on the defence, and that's frustrated the left-handed Matthias Bolt. Shuffle just popping up short. Easy kill for Sukumolio. seeing the battle for supremacy at the front of the court between Sukumolio and Bo. Yeah, I thought both these pairs played really well yesterday, and uh, mm. especially Morganson was, and then also Sukumolio from the Indonesian side were on form yesterday, but then they uh, had... Um, off your breakfast with uh, Morganson, and, um, and he said they, they weren't really satisfied with their game yesterday. There were still too many tactical errors and so on. So it's interesting, by the way, the two players they live on separate hotels, so mm. it's not like they uh, they chat too much uh, no. during the day. Good judgment. 14, 13. Played by uh, Gideon. What a lovely shot from Gideon. Just guiding the shuttle into the open space. Oi. It was going wide, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but all was shouting. Sorry, white. Uh, well, that's an amazing shot to finish the rally. And gone way past him. He plays a perfect yeah. little block. Especially Gideon. Uh, much more um, active by the net than we've seen him. <laughs> yeah. Well, I needed three attempts before Mowenson managed to put it away. Mm, did you hear that? I uh, couldn't catch what he was saying. No. It was very distinct. Furious. That's a small margins there because 
I think both pairs played a really, really good rally, as you say, Jill, but um, the Indonesians are a little bit lucky to, to get away with the point. Mm. What happened there? 15. Did he a miss hit? A complete miss hit. Because uh, he must have touched it because it was way it was short. short yeah. Two points away from the opening game now, the Indonesian pair. Oh, behind the back. And it's over 60, 19. Me. Yeah, that's another clever shot from Gideon. Oh. He's a shot from uh, Sukumolio. Didn't have the right quasi this time. Uh, just one point in it on a run of three straight points. Well, I think there was a little exchange, verbal or certainly eye contact exchange over the net there between yeah. Sukumolio and Carsten Morrison. of the attack there from Bolt. Oh, one game point has been well saved. Another one remains, though, for the Indonesians. Oh, oh it's a shocking serve again from Matthias Bolt. He knows it. <laughs> he looks around to see if there's someone else he can blame. 21 <laughs> 19. Problem. Opening game in 21 minutes. Ooh. Little, yes, there was some sort of discussion or comment there from Carsten Morganson. But it is the defending champion to have taken the opening game. Det er bedre bare at komme ind til det og flytte 
Spørgsmålet er, om vi skal have en enkelt på, på om dagen. Jeg tænker ikke, at vi behøver at starte svimmeren, så får vi også bare lidt tilbage. Nej, 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 So Jakob Hoy, the Danish coach there, used all of his allotted time. What was he saying there, Steve? Yeah, there was some um, um, discussion about how to go about things in the um, in the flat game or the game where they're fighting for the initiative. Um, you want to um, target one of the players on the Indonesian side. I couldn't really. Um, figure out who it was, whether it was uh, Kevin or, uh, or uh, Marcus. I suspect it was when, when Kevin got it, they want to try and turn it to, to Marcus and so on. But it's not so easy because mm. it goes really, really fast. Um, yeah. The flat game exchange is there, so it's not always you can do it even though you you have the plan. And you got to accept that, that sometimes you just... Um, reactions without thinking. You just simply haven't got time to. Uh, if you think too much, it will hamper your, your uh, execution. It's an amazing defense, wasn't it? Forehand defense. Swayed his body out yeah, of the way it's, it's and then so took it. Quick, he changes. Yeah. Three. It's over. Two. One. Good serve. Good. Two flat goes long. Three. What? One of the interesting situations now um, with the Indonesians playing a little bit against the drift, whether they can um, whether they can attack uh, sharper and um, more easy, kill it than they did in the first game, or whether the Danes can hold their defense a little bit better. Yeah. Clever return of serve, two, just enough three. pace to make Carsten Mollinson take the shuffle once it's gone past him. Great defense. Yeah, good rally. Service for called struck above the waist, says the service judge. Is that the first flick of the match? Yeah, it is. They they talked about it um, in the interval. It's over three, four. Let me 
it's over. Five three. It's a very good return of serve, isn't it? Six, Boom marches off to tail down after that return of serve. well reached by Matthias Bolt. This one here. Couldn't defend the next one, so. Fabulous. My goodness, what a goal. What timing on that. And it was almost on the uh, short service line. Yeah. Ah! Oh, the string's gone. Eight, you could hear that. Six. Hence the error. It's a run of four straight points. Wants to try out the new racket. Slip there Three from Marcus Fernaldi Gideon. Eight. Yeah, exactly where he was. Um, same spot where he was sitting before. When um, ball broke his um, string. Gideon is, um, is playing really well. Um, of course, he doesn't try to compete with the Kevin Sukimulio in, in, in terms of uh, artistic shots and, and fancy shots or anything, but he's just being really, really solid, and I don't think the Danes have really um, gotten to him yet. That is well, return of serve Eight. finds the net court. Nine. Really launching himself on that return of serve. Carsten Mogensen. Very effective.
fast exchanges again. One by the Indonesians. A three-point advantage here at the mid-game interval of the second game. Look at that defence. Look at that. Look at that. Please leave the call. So, of course, we didn't get to hear what the Play. Danish coach, Jakobhoi, was saying. So, let's have your views, Steen. What would you have been advising the Danes in that mid-game interval? Yeah, it's, it's a little bit um, difficult at the moment. Uh, they have some very specific things in the flat game uh, that they are focusing Nine, on. Uh, I think I've seen them have a lot of success when, when playing a little bit more defensive um, Lifting a bit more, trying to keep Kevin on the uh, backcourt. It's not easy to get him there, though. Mm. Um, I also think that um, in the service situation, in the flat game, I'm trying to target uh, Marcus Gideon a little bit more than they've done. They haven't been very successful. He's played well, so in my opinion, the Danes need to step up and put pressure on him in the uh, service oh, situation. Yeah, it's yeah. still around him the, the key is in my opinion in in, um, in the battle for the attack whereas kevin he can have a few uh, rallies where he doesn't hit a lot and then suddenly he comes up making four or five winners uh, directly and yeah can turn turn um, defensive situation around and make winners from almost all positions so the safest thing is to have him on the back court Mm, extraordinary shots like that, making winners yeah. that you're talking about, yeah. So. That's the uh, situation that we um, talked about earlier in the game. How will the drift affect um, the two sides here? I feel that Kevin gets a little bit more help in his um, attacking game, and it's yeah. difficult for the Danes, apparently, to, to get the correct length on the lifts and uh, the defensive shots. was just a miss hit. It wasn't broken strings that time. Wow. It sounded yeah. exactly like uh, three or four strings had gone. No, the call from the Indonesians to each other. Leave it. It was out, it's but the Danes are going to challenge. I said that earlier and I was wrong. Challenger <laughs> <laughs> yeah. unsuccessful. One challenger remaining. This is going to be extremely difficult for the Danes. Um, yeah. They've stamped the mark in this match here. Gideon and Sukumulu. 
Oh, 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 fantastic. How quick ten. was that from Kevin Sanjaya? And he comes from one corner almost and still manages to play a very, very delicate shot. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? So exciting to watch. Such skills. haven't they since the mid-game interval off a little bit the Indonesians because they have a losing record against this Danish pair so they want to yeah they want to send a signal that uh, now we've got you yeah well it's match point opportunities it was 9-8 at one stage it all looked as if it was going to be very close Fault called. Yeah. And the match to the number one seeds, they retain their title that they won a year ago. Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. Indonesian teammates applaud and rejoice in the victory of Gideon and Sukamolio. Only 40 minutes required to win their second consecutive title here. Well, that's a service fault apiece for the two Danes. It's always a disappointing way for a match to end on a service fault, but a fault is a fault. And for the Indonesians, well, it is a fifth Super Series title of the year. 
泰和杯男子双打颁奖仪式现在开始，有请获奖运动员入场。Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Tai Ho Chan Open 2017 part of MetLife BW World Super Series premiere. The Tai Ho Cup men's doubles awarding ceremony will start shortly. Please welcome the winners. So to the prize presentation for the men's doubles. And as a year ago, it will Bo and Morganson will have to stand on the lower tier of the podium. The fifth final here at the China Open. But for a fifth time this year, Gideon Marcus Finelli and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio stand on top of the podium. And in case you're wondering if that's a record, it's not yet because the record for the most number of men's doubles titles in a year is six, a record held by Lee Yong Day and Yu Young Sung when they won six titles in 2015, but with two more Super Series to come. The Hong Kong Open next week and the Super Series Finals. Well, they'd have to win both of them to surpass the record, but they could well equal that record held currently by the Koreans. Well, 30th time they've contested a Super Series tournament final, Bo and Morganson. The 10th time as a pair. It's photo call. So the champions for a second consecutive year. Marcus Finaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. So our first two finals been won in two straight games. And next up is women's doubles and it features the reigning world champions, the home players, Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan. They're up against a Korean pair in only their second tournament together. Kim Hae Rin and Lee So Hee. Lee So Hee, who won the title here last year, 
with Zhang Ye Na. Well, as far as the Super Series standings are concerned in the women's doubles, well, there's four Japanese pairs, as you can see, in the top six. Only two can go to the Super Series finals. And it is a real race between those top three. It looks as if Tanaka and Yonimoto, by virtue of their semi-final here, are almost secure. But it could all change after the Hong Kong Open next week. Well, those three Japanese pairs that we saw at the top of the Super Series standings there are all in the quarterfinal here at the China Open. Only four different nations involved, because apart from those three Japanese pairs, two Koreans and two Chinese pairs. Three different nations by semi-final stage. All Chinese affair in the bottom half of the draw. And the world champions, here they are. Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan coming through their semi final in three thrilling games. So, for this pair, it is a fourth Super Series tournament final. The previous three, they have never lost, they won all three.